Right, so I said I showed you the other day was the way that this particular tip on my iron, my fake Heiko, the 951 here, um, was out by quite a bit. I've actually had a little bit of a twiddle around with the um, adjustment inside it for the calibration. If I stick the tip on there now, oh, I better turn it on first though. Um, I actually changed chips, calibrated to another tip I had, because that was actually much closer. The temperature was um, only about, I think it was about 10 degrees out, so I calibrated for the other tip. I was going to see what this one does now. So see how close this is. It was out by about 50 degrees before. It's currently set to 290. What's that? Can't quite see the angle myself now. 315. So that's 25 degrees out. It's still quite a way out on that tip. So let's just change it. This is a much better handle, I'm glad to put this one on. It'll beep when it's warmed up to 290. There you go, I think it's at 290 now. Let's see what this goes to. Yeah, 281, it's climbing up to there. So it's sl this one's reading really slightly low. Compared to what I've set, so that once it's actually warmed up, probably it actually matches that the catabolic to be the same value. So it does actually get there. All right, so pretty much 290, right? So that just goes to show that the, if it's off by a lot, it could just be the thermocouple that's built into the tip. I've got some more tips, let's get one out and we'll see what we get. This is another tip I've also used, and um, I've just put it in, that's why I just beat. So this is one I've, I've used a little bit, not much. It's quite a good thermal mass on it. Let's see what this one comes up to. So that's not too bad, is it? 295 or so, it's going to come to probably 300. So this is reading a fraction high. Well, it's really fraction low weather because it's set at 290. So that's fine, that's, you know, within a 5 degrees, that's, I'm happy with that. So this one and the other one are very similar. So it seems like this wedge shaped one which I was using, which is this thing here, there's a knife, the knife blade. This has got a very inaccurate thermocouple in it. So it's, uh, that's why it seems much hotter with this one because, well, it actually is. You know, it's 20 degrees hotter. So let's try another one. Again, these all sourced from suspicious sources, I don't know, little Chinese made things, so who knows what the quality is actually like, and this is probably indication of that. Right, let's see what this one gets up to. This one's overshooting by quite a bit, this one. Look at that. So, <laughs> that's 40 degrees over already, and it's still creeping up. So it's probably going to be about 50 degrees over. So that's a significant error. And you can't fault this, because it's calibrated for one of those other tips. So, you know, this one's much higher as well. So it gives you an idea what to expect, and that's the difference in quality probably of these fake tips. Well, these poor quality tips, I suppose you could say. They're not really fake, are they? But um, let's try this other one. We'll go through them all and see what they all come out like, shall we? Some of these I've never even used, so I don't even have to work. So this one's overshooting as well. So it's also going to be about 40 degrees over, maybe slightly more. So is it that the bad quality or is it just because the, the one I've calibrated against is wrong? I mean that's the lowest one so far. So let's try them all out and see what happens. I actually wanted to get one of these ages ago but I never actually got around to it. I thought I bought one, but it turned out I didn't actually get one. So 
So there you go, that's only about 15 degrees out, maybe 20. This one's a bit closer. It's got a bit of an issue there too. Got to beep like that. So that one's about 25, 25 degrees over. Also wrong. Let's try this other knife blade. Sounds about 40 degrees over. About 45 over. So it looks like the consensus says that most of these tips are reading way below the actual temperature. So if I calibrate for a lower temperature, then I've got one or two which would be slightly low and the rest would be a fraction high. I think I'll, you know, I'll take the medium point from that and go from that point and um, I'll be happy with that, I think. Just going to calibrate for the average. At least I'll be kind of close. Not the best one. Okay, so I've got this initial original knife blade one on there. Um, this is probably one of my, my favourite tips at the moment. This gives a good compromise between surface area and thermal conductivity and the ability to do fine stuff as well. So it's what I'm using the most at the moment. I've got obviously other choices too, but this is the one I've been using. I've been quite liking this one. So that's reading that's sort of 10 degrees over, 20 degrees over, sorry. So let's just actually adjust this one down a bit. We'll tackle it well, see, because it's got to lose the heat. If I get this one to be, say, 10 degrees over, this is probably actually one of the medium ones, actually. The others are worse. I said, there you go. It's like I've got better contact on there. As I'm turning the thing the wrong way, we'll find out, won't we? Could be the only way. Let's turn that way. Yeah, now it's dropping. I was going the wrong way with it. Don't forget to set it to 290. So if I set this one about right, it should be a good average for all the other tips. It's probably some kind of specification of what these are supposed to be, you know, for the resistance of temperature or something like that, you know. Yeah, I'll set it like 295 or something like that, shall we? Go for that one. Two ninety five, so it's five degrees out. That's a fair one, I think. So the other tip I've got is going to be noisy again. That tip there is the other I've been using. So we'll see if this one sits at now. This was, I think, this is the lowest reading one. So we'll see if this comes out. So then say 10 degrees or so, I'd be happy with that, I think. So that's about 20 degrees low. Right now. Fifteen, maybe. Yes, I think it's about 15 degrees out. Once it's all warmed up properly. Yeah, about 15. I can live with that. So I think I'll just leave those calibrations there. Let's just try one of the other ones again. This is another fine one which I've used sometimes. Doing really small work. So the other ones are mostly spare tips. I'm not really using them much. Unless I've got something 
I haven't had anything come up yet which I need to use the big tips for. So it's still quite a way out on this tip. You know, still sort of 30 odd degrees out. But it's a lot better than it was, which was uh, about 50 degrees out. Yeah, I can live with that. So yeah, there's the adjustment. Right there, in that little blue pot. Model turn pot. So you can calibrate yourself if you've got a tester. Then you can you check all your tips to make sure it's not just one tip which is wrong. Which is what I just showed you. So this is the iron tip for my previous soldering iron which I was using for years. Uh, well a couple of years at least. So Tenmar and it's the old traditional type, you know, the nozzle you change and it's got the heater built into the handle part. So this is what I was using for a long time. I used to set this at 350 degrees in order to use it. So let's actually see what it comes up to on here. That's out by heaps. It's 290 now, so that's 40 degrees out. Oh, maybe 30. There you go, 30 degrees out. All right, that's still a long way compared to what I used to have. So I used to set this at 350. Let's do that. Because that's what used to work. So let's set at 350 and we'll try it again. And we'll see what uh, temperature I actually get. Now on the fake Oco, the FX95 I'm sure sitting here now, um, I set this at about 300, I've got it at 290 now, but 300 or so was where I used to set it because that seemed to be about equivalent. So let's see what we get now. So that's about 300. So that's 50 degrees out at that temperature. So what I set at 350 on the old one is 300 and Heiko, which is pretty much what I already worked out. Funny that.